So watch these next two videos. This woman is extremely frustrated and I can understand. She has been working hard. She has um, five kids, she has pets, and she has a husband. But she is also the phenomenon that we call a married single mother. Um, she goes on to explain, because I guess a lot of people were jumping in the comments of the original um, <clears throat> video, asking her, like, how did she not know that he would, that her husband, her soon-to-be ex, would just be so negligent or not be able to do much as far as housework. He was military when they were a couple, and then he retired, and then he became a stay-at-home couch potato. He wasn't helping out in the home. That is why they're getting a divorce. The situations and circumstances changed, so she decided to change with it. People always want to act like folks or women should just know. Women should just be just choose better, just choose better. Well, situations do change. Um, retiring and coming home and then doing absolutely nothing in the home, that is a dramatic change. And there's no way to know that someone will be like that. So the, the castigation of women and not knowing how to pick a partner, well, how do we know that these things like that will occur? I think that the pandemic really showed people how things were when people had to live together for, you know, copious amounts of time. So watch these two videos. I'm not coming in on the back end. You guys kind of hear my, my stance on things. Women just don't know. And basically, dudes dudes have got to get it together because women are saying, I would rather be officially single than a married single woman. All right, tell me what you think on the back end. Like, comment, share. Listen, you don't know the type of person you're going to have kids with because unless they already have kids, they also don't know how they're going to respond to having kids. You don't even know what kind of person you're going to be having kids. We don't know any of this until we're in the situation. And then you're in the situation and then you say, okay, this isn't working or it is working and we just keep going. 
So this has nothing to do with who you're choosing to partner with. It's nobody's fault. It's just that we've discovered we don't parent well together because he just doesn't parent at all. And this really wasn't on my radar as a realization until he stopped his 12 hour days in the military. And then we were home together all the time. And then it hit me. But playing the blame game for not paying attention is just not it.